Hey everyone, TurboCop back here, and welcome back to another TurboCop caster day. Today we've got a little steel game for you uh, from the preseason of S13 here. We've got Team Pencils over on blue over here versus Magical Dragon of Dust Bowl. So we're just going to watch uh, CP Granary. Uh, not the most, I think it's an okay map, but I don't think it's definitely the most loved map there. Right? It's been relegated back to the preseason. And yeah, this is, uh, people would claim it's generally the weaker of the CP maps. But it's kind of fun to watch a mid-fight out here, especially at the steel level where teams aren't like super duper super fast. Uh, I guess I need to go over the rosters real quick, although a soldier bomb is going to come at the top here. It doesn't actually get the medic, so. Anyways, on the blue side, we got uh, Smokey the second as our met, uh, getting out of here, so he will escape. And it looks like uh, his uh, counterpart popped a, a, uh, a quick fix. That's an inter interesting choice there for sure, although every both teams are in low situations now. Anyway, Brick Shithouse is the... Uh, is the, is the demo. We'll just call him Brick. Oh, a Force Pop there. Uh, speaking of which, Force is the Pyro. Uh, we've got Gwarf coming back out here on the on the Soldier, coming out. Colonel Mostard is the Heavy. Minohawk is the Engineer. Jaybird the Sniper, all coming out here. Uh, Crimson the Scout. And PPM Blast. Ooh, what is that name? Uh, Emily Please. So he'll just be Blast. I think he's a, a standing because I don't recognize him. I've casted a few pencil games before. Anyway, our challengers over here are the Magical Dragons of Dust Bowl. Uh, DZ Boo Boo Virgin Buddy Bear. Uh, we're just going to call him DZ for the rest of this match. Is the, is the spy sneaking around the backside? He should be able to get a, a mini sentry pick here at least. Oh no, he gets found off by Minohawk. Good pick there. Katox is our soldier. And Bolshevist is our medic running the quick fix. This is really, really interesting. I think this might. This might be, like, Quick Fix is just so good on a... Uh, it's just, like, really, really, really good on a CP map where you can just push down. Especially on one so open and, like, very hard to flank around as a, as CP Granary is. Because how are they gonna... How are they gonna get attacked here? Uh, if you're the if you're the red team assaulting into the second point, you have every entranceway covered uh, with two people at least, except for the very, very back one here, which can be spotted out and you give up defenses to do it. So Quick Fix is, like, very very good I think for just getting early advantages and uh, trying to push it from there although at this point in an, in an uber on uber situation you'd rather have the uber so I think maybe they're not being aggressive enough but anyway we should call it everyone else I'm really super bad it's the Timbo man so bad Sponky is the heavy and look at this yeah uh, uber will just like run over run over everything especially if you can't back out correctly and Mio is the sniper uh, straws are for nerds is the scout always oh, gonna try and contest here but I think they yeah. Not gonna be able to do anything. They're just gonna lose everyone. Furry bringer is the uh, fury bringer. He's not a furry bringer. He's a f bringer of fury. Is the pyro? Uh, Katox, the soldier. Magical. What is his name? Uh, I can't get on his cam for some reason. Magical fridge. He's just gonna be magical. So or fridge. Yeah, we're just gonna go with fridge. Spy coming around the backside here. Uh, looking for a pick. If we get the demo man here, that'd be pretty big. Um, looking like he's not going to go for it yet, and so, uh, looks like CIA, they come back in. Now remember, it's, uh, best of five. Uh, you play two halves of 30. Wow, that was a really good, uh, corner stab there. Pyro wasn't ready for it at all, and Force just fell right into it, and Spy will get out. I think he's running that... Oh, my, my button isn't working to pull up the items, but I think he's running that Cloak and Dagger. He's going to try and go for another pick here. Oh, runs right into the demo. Oh, Med's healing, though. Can't do that, Smokey, and, uh, instead... He actually ends up giving a 25% charge to Smokey here, so now he's at Uber, and I think that should be enough to go through here. Soldier popping around. There's a demo on one side and Soldier on the other. So this is good. You got a flank on one side and your core on the other, and this is definitely the stronger place to have because of the, the poke out for sure. Uh, Spy goes down. Oh, Pop comes through here, and uh, let's see what the core can do. Uh, looks like, oh, this Soldier, this demo is D-Link. That's going to be a dead demo. Yep. Good job picking off people there, and the Soldier comes up for the cleanup, and now it's a 4v9. This is... Uh, Really bad. Although they, oh man, they, they had an Uber. They should have popped earlier. They could have uh, possibly fought that if they had uh, gone earlier. But I, man, that was just a good initiation. Good clean out. Good, uh, good job catching the demo man out there. And that should be second point up here. Scout on the top side here. Crimson going. Now people just don't like Granary just because it's so, especially last point. It's just very, very open. I personally think it's like one of the easiest points to cap. And, and uh, maybe like Goalie Wash. I'm not sure is easier. I'm not sure which one's harder. But certainly if you can like control this uh, pipe up here, which is oftentimes what it's about. Push through with an uber advantage. Uh, you can just beeline straight for the point, although this sniper position is really good. Neo could make a pick here on the scout if he had wall hacks like I did, but he does not. So, Gwarf, gonna be able to... This is what you do as a soldier. You come up to the top and you just control the top area as best you can. Uh, make sure that they can't hear your roost. 
The problem is the sniper has a hard time pushing through, and we have an Uber already going through here already, so once again, very good proactive Ubering uh, on the front here. The problem is, is that they're not getting... Oh, they are getting tons of cleanouts, my bad. So the Medic Heavy, this is going to be up to them to stop this push-in, but I think they're getting like overwhelmed here. Yeah, Pyro's on the point, and that'll be it. Good round for the first round there, and we're going to start up for the second round immediately. Yeah, this is a... Uh... More so because it's so much more open, I think it's just easier to cast Granary than any other map. So I think Granary might have been... No, the first match I ever casted was a lakeside game, a cough lakeside game of, of my own. But I think Granary was like the second or third, for sure. And it's just so much fun to cast. It's so easy to watch things like rollouts and, and everything else. Why are these... Oh, Strahl for Nerds is... Uh, is he, was he not the scout the first round? He's going to the top here, though. Um, definitely going to be able to spot out everyone on the corner. I think he could have stayed on the boxes a little bit more. I think he... If he had just jumped over to the side and tried to play it a little bit more, he could have been fine. Soldier bomb and immediately, nah, he doesn't find him. He finds uh, he finds nobody, in fact, so the bombs aren't, aren't there. The sniper gets cleaned out. Engineer has a sentry gun on the top now, able to control very well. Oh, he's got to be careful not to run into the core, though. Uh, I think he's going to be okay. Spy coming around the back. He bumps into the med. No, Soldier Gwarf, uh gets an easy pick off there. Nobody, his pyro wasn't watching uh, his medic enough in the scout. Trying to play out of here, but I think this is going to be CIA's. Takes it handily, my goodness. They're just uh, making a few more picks and then turning it into a team wipe, which is just really, really good. It's what you want to do uh, if you want to just dominate a team. You just take a few picks and then force them into the really bad situation of having to fight when they're so far down. And they're being really aggressive here, which is really, really good for them. Uh, getting the second point for free. Oh, misses the misses the soldier shot there. He has a med shot, though. He'll get a second one in a second. No, he gets uh, flare gunned. Uh, fortunately, the Fury Bringer uh, figures that out. Engineer being really aggressive up here. Wish I could go on his cam. I don't know what the button is, but I'll click through and try. Anyway, let's see a Jaber try and make a shot here. Nope. Super bad. Trying to get something. Strahls for nerds are on the backside. And uh, at the next uh, stop, I'm gonna switch up my vines. Just make a quick make a quick uh, change out there. But for now, we're good. It looks like Brick wants to go again. They have an Uber. Bolshevik is down again, and away we go. Easy, easy pop in. They're for they're kind of forced, but. More importantly, they're able to get out the door and across the, the corner without having to do anything. Trying to get for this heavy here. They do get it. Pyro gets cleaned out as well. And the med's down. That is a very fast round. So I'm going to pause right here and be right back after I fix up my vines. Okay, we're back. And vines seem to be fixed. Yes, there's our engineer friend. And uh, let's watch the red demo roll out a little bit here. Super bad. Um, okay, he goes off the wall. That's okay. He could have gotten a little bit more distance there. Some people like to double sticky jump. I'm not the best. I, my demo man might be my worst class, so... Don't listen to me when it comes to like rollouts and things like that. Although I'm sure these could be improved a little bit. These just seem a little bit slow compared to what I, I'm used to seeing for this map. And Snipe Scout came from below. Oh, good pipes over the top. Oh, he hits the pyre right in the face. But where's the Scout? The scout run away. Crimson's already backed out. And uh, Blast ready to go. I used to know a guy named Crimson. I wonder if this is the same guy. Sniper, oh, oh wow, Mio goes, goes down again. They take us another sniper advantage. I'm not sure Mio has been able to do very much this game at all. Jaybird had a shot on the med, didn't quite get it. It's a very hard shot for sure. Uh, and they actually get on the point, but Core's coming around the backside here. Do they have an Uber? Oh, Smokey dropped to a demo man pipe. Got con completely controlled out there. Boy, that was really, really, like, that was really greedy from CIA. And now they have to play and defend second. They might even lose second. Oh, there's a soldier in the back. He's trying for Quarf. Quarf making the shot. He gets the NG. Nobody reacted in time. Oh man, Fury almost got it. Forces a pop, really? He was dead. I thought he was dead. Okay, well, getting a little bit too anxious there. Um, that's definitely, they're actually gonna get the second point for this. So it's not the end of the world, but they're gonna be even on Ubers now. They might've gotten the second point anyway. I mean, pretty good chance they did. And now all of a sudden they're, uh, have to, they have to worry. Spy pretending to be on the other team. That's not what you wanted to. It's going the long way. He could've just gone out one of the doors, I think, been a little bit more aggressive, but that's okay. Ooh, gonna get cleaned up by Gwarf there. Popped up in the air, gets an easy double shot. That is just so these these uh if there's one thing I was gonna change about gravel about uh granary is that these these little doorways right here are so tiny. Incredibly small really. Gwarf overextending a little bit, but he's got his heavy here with him too. Oh, they just got a double kill. Oh and somewhere the Oh excuse me, the medic went down somewhere in all that engagement too. Spy on the point here, this is really good. Is he running a DR? Man, I wish the spy would have a some way to sh oh he is running DR. Pop the sticks, yeah, good job there. Getting really aggressive here on this pyro. Looks like he wants to go on top. I'm pretty sure they heard that. They should, they should know. No, Furio wasn't close enough, I think. Spy's gonna be able to get around. Well, he got an he got an ambi shot there. Emily uh, or Blast uh, getting a clean out on the snipes, and so no snipes are either team right now. Uh, Bolsh is down in Uber though, so Smokey could just go up. They could just push this. They've got to be really careful about uh, flanks. 
Dwarf is on the one side. Oh no. This could be huge. I think this trap is not. The scout's gonna try and bait the trap, but I think the trap isn't gonna be sprung. Looks like they just wanna go through main. Oh, they lost Smokey. I missed the play. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how Smokey dropped, but that's pretty huge. Pretty, pretty huge. Fortunately, they're up 2 0. Uh, we've got 19 minutes left uh, in the game. So, all they have to do is defend out this first half, and then I believe they're gonna play a second half, and that should be it. So, you know, defending out your, your two point advantage is pretty easy. Oh, he's switched over to Quitch Creek, so we're gonna try and make a play happen here, but I, you know, he has an Uber, so this is really putting a lot of pressure on Quarf and Crimson to make a play happen. Crimson is building up crits, yes, in the back, and Brick, just trying to hold down the fort. Oh, Pyro gets a, oh no, it gets cleaned out there. I think they know there's an Uber now. Oh, the Heavy gets caught out too. Oh, well, Colonel, will Colonel live? Colonel lives, so that's really, really good. Um, really need to keep your Heavy up to defend the second point for sure. It's definitely, I wouldn't say the best class, the, sec the best class is the Demo Man, of course, but He's the second best for defending this, just because of how close all the angles are. He can always do good damage. Kind of poking his his butt out there a little bit too far. Smokey, oh, there we go. Here come the laser beams. Turn the corner, jump the corner. Oh, it takes some spam and actually gets st stabbed. I felt like, you know, if he was going to be effective there at all, after the first pick there, he needed to stop spinning up and turn the corner really quickly. Like, open up the doorway. Or they needed to have someone else in position. But it was a good try. Smokey gets cleaned out again. Who's picking him off? Can't lose your medic this much. This is uh, turning around for them, actually. I think it was it the NG going going ham. Minnowhawk. I'm not speaking of NGs. And what is Minnowhawk doing here? I think he's like. Oh, that's your own spy. I think he's either AFK. No, he's not AFK. What's he trying? What's he trying to pull here? Uh, it looks like red team's gonna go around the go around the flick side. So taking some spam. I mean, they got out fairly reasonable for that. Oh, gets the spy in the back, which is good, so it distracted them out. They're uh, getting pushed in on, but I don't think they're... I think they can just take the, the advantage now. Oh, they lost their scout. Who's on the back here? Was it a scout? No, it's a soldier. The flanks are playing decently well here, although they do get cleaned out, um, but they do split up the team a little bit, and now it looks like... Who's on the point now? Heavy? Oh, they popped an Uber on the front side here. So two fronts going on at once, but I think it really does favor the red team here. And oh my, yeah, they just lost a lot of people. Again, Smokey going down. Uh, Snipes is going to have to try and play here. He's going to have to have a miracle shot here. He's going to have to get like two or three headshots, and then this uh, will restabilize for them. Doman wisely jumping ahead here. This is really, really good. He hits the pipe, unfortunately. Gwarf is there to save him, but... That Demoman could have just won the point right there had he jumped a little bit better. This is something Steel Teams could practice a lot better. I think they could just spend tons of time playing, like, races of, like, jumping places. Like, oh, I need to jump over here. You know, just practice your circuit runs of, okay, if I'm coming out of this door and I, and I need to get to the point or if I need to go for the pipe, you know, just, like, practice, like, five or ten different kind of jumps, especially on this last point here where it's so open that you can jump a lot. Getting your demos and soldiers to jump perfectly every time is uh, really good. Well, so perfectly every time means you don't get uh, hit by, like, a, a rocket in air or, or by some NG like spam of some sort so blast is in a good position here he could definitely take a med pick if no one else like there's no pyro well pyro's not focused on finding the spy and uh there is an engineer watching the back oh the medic's above so that's gonna be hard speaking of that is that a quick fix no that's a med gun oh man they're gonna run right into each other here it's gonna be ktox that finds them i'm pretty sure he's gonna turn the corner first he sees the heavy i don't think they see the medic oh mio again losing the sniper battle on the banks backside oh jaber just took a double kill Engineer on the backside as well, and the spy, and they totally clean up the, the bottom. And this will be enough to go. Oh, wow, they get the heavy. They force an Uber. And. Okay, Uber forced. Uber forced. Brick actually lives. Brick lives. Uber forced, Brick lives. Bolshevik, ah, gets taken out by Guar on the backside, so. I think that's enough. I think that the counter push successful. They've got to leave someone behind, though. They do leave the pyro behind, so that's really good. So pencils being really smart, leaving their pyro. Oh, take care of this. Too far forward, Brick. Oh, it forces out an Uber too. So again, both teams sloppily pushing forward and wasting Ubers uh, to not really kill players, just to keep the game stabilized in their favor. They're not, they're just losing momentum. They're not playing in the way that gives them the most momentum for a push. And it's not really their fault. It's just the, the small things. Oh, nice pick by the spy. I miss it. I almost missed the end of it. Jaybird's been making some shots. Let's see how he's been sitting. Yeah, way better. Look at that. 33 points to 6 points here. Sniper advantage is huge. Huge, huge, huge for them. They should consider it a blessing for them. Getting those body shots. Even if you can no-scope like that, that's really good. Practicing the no-scopes is something I think 
snipers can do a little bit of other. You don't always have to quick scope things. I think that's sort of a. If you're if you're a new player, and you want to try out sniper, well, first of all, you have to just do nothing but play sniper for a while, like, and just be get used to dying a ton. And you basically got to play in a way where you're just not going to be effective, and you're just going to sit back and you're going to take pot shots for a while. So you do that in pups for a while. Until like you can reasonably click ahead, like especially if you can get heavies every time, that's really important. Because heavy, you're the main check on a heavy uh, in most situations. So, oh, what is it? This is an early. Oh, they saw a crit play. I missed the crit play, but that was a big mistake. Didn't get the uh, didn't get the critical sticky where they wanted to. That was a that must have been a blind pop by the crit screen into a, and then the uber reactive play was huge. So this heavy's gonna die. He's got no medic with him, and the heavy v heavy action, as happens in steel. Really important. Oh man, this uh, this mini sentry play though, doing enough. And the sentry gun on the roof now forces the soldier off. Spy's in position now. You're gonna take the ambi shot. Oh man, gets the ambi shot and uh, cleans on Mio again. Mio not not having a great game so far. Mino Hawk again with the sticks with the sentry above. Got a really good enclosing uh, location now, and that's gonna be a recap here for mid. Uh, 13 minutes remaining, and uh, game so game totally back in CIA's favor. So coming back from the brink here uh, for the first time, let's see if they're going to have to do it again or if they can put the pressure down. But yeah, that definitely bodes well for them, being able to defend out like that. Blast. Oh, he's dead. He's a dead blast. Pyro misses his shot. Has to come back for it. Fury Bringer, got to practice those uh, flares a little bit. Jaybird gets the gets the, gets the the full body shot. Now, he hasn't been getting too many headshots, but he's been doing enough. Like He's third on the points on his team just by making good, amp just by good positioning, having good amp uh, body shots, and that's all you need. And I just lost low enable. Why did I just lose all my? Uh, okay, looks like. Oh. I wonder what all where happened to all my glow effects. I can't see the red team. Okay, now I can see the red team. I don't know why I couldn't before. So dragons, magical dragons of dust bowl. Um, I don't recognize any of their players at all. So I'm I'm willing to bet that. They're a new, a newly formed team, or they just played a little bit fun. And uh, ooh, good shot there. Gets the, uh, gets the Jaybird. Finally, so that's gonna throw things a little bit in their face. Smokey's dead too. Straws are for nerds, going huge on the backside. He's doing pretty darn well for a scout. Uh, 11 points uh, compared to the 17 of Crimson. It's okay considering how much they've just, they've been down. I think it's actually a pretty decent start. They have a um, teleporter there too. That's not really the best of spots in the world. I mean, I would just rather put it in the chute. But it's okay. It's all right, spot. Mio taking a taking brick out. So Mio actually coming back in this game. He's forcing everyone out. Um, problem is, is that like he needs his core now. Okay, they're finally rotating up. Oh, spy in the back gets the pyro. Heavy immediately reacts. So good job there, boy. That pyro. Considering how fast that heavy reacted, that pyro must have been pissed. I could just tell. Smokey down though. So this is this is their chance. This is their chance to take it back in the game. Bullshit. Run that quick fix. This is so dangerous, going along this, this flank side here. But, like, there's so many things that can get you. Like, that simple pyro play right there. Just put him, and now there's a soldier right above him. Dwarf should have got the cleanup. He did. So, oh, that was just not a good rotation there. Just don't go down this side route if you don't know where they are. Or if you don't have everything under control. This is, like, the most dangerous place you can go on the midpoint here in Granary. I just don't think it's a good... Ugh. Tough tactical play there. Um... And Gwarf just got a really, really easy pickoff. So game goes back in uh, game goes back in Pencil's favor here over on the blue side. Uh, 11 minutes remaining, and they've definitely got good control here. Smokey sitting at 70%. Now, the Pencil's has been playing in steel for a few years now, so it leads me to believe that something is wrong. But I think definitely they're going to have better skills or better coordination, one of the two. And it seems like they have a little bit more of both. So definitely game is in their favor so far. Where's this teleporter go? Interesting spot. A, a little bit conservative. Yeah, it, it screwed up his teammates uh, who weren't used to the textures in that room super well. So a little bit conservative uh, teleporter. Could be a little bit far forward. Um, but we've got a mini sentry on the roof here. That's going to make everything super easy. In fact, I might just sit here. Oh, wow. Super headshot. He just got a double headshot in a row. Jaybird. Getting a huge pick off there again. Meds, med, this med has been dropping like a fly, and Jaybird has been a huge part of it. Colonel gonna be able to back them up here, and this is gonna be second point for sure. If not, oh man, this heavy's doing reasonable work here on the flank, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Jaybird's even escaping. Oh, engineer on the backside. Oh, who's capping? Spy's capping on the backside. Nice air shot by Ktox, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Okay, the scout gets the, they clean up the scout too, which means it's only the core now. Straws are for nerds. Uh, they're gonna be able to defend. 
Yeah, nice shots this boss. It was a good. It was a good air shot for sure. Sponky going up. Yeah, you know, this is so aggressive. Like, what if another spike comes, or if a demo man jumps them? Misses the uh, misses the jump up here. K Dog says, but it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Heavy drops down. God, it's so aggressive. He does get a 4k or something ridiculous with some demo man support here, so it will be a, a recap. Sponky suiciding himself out, but I think he was just a little bit too aggressive there. Smokey able to escape too. Because as soon as that heavy drops down, I mean, it's very obvious you're not going to get that back. Well, who's capping on the back? Blast again in like in like middle of everyone, so very ballsy on his part. Actually forces out the quick fix play, and they're going to bomb for it. Oh, that's so much fun to watch when a demo man jumps. He should jump to the top, I think, but... Oh, they're just going to play below. Getting shot, backing out. Playing in the corner. Oh, misses his... Yeah, he missed his, he missed his demo man shot. He got that one, though. That was a good shot. Wow, and the demo one gets the clean out again. Gets the demo, gets the medic. Sniper on top here. Jaber trying to make another play. But there's a lot of encroaching defense here, so... They're still making good plays, but it's not going to be enough. I'm really surprised they actually... That crossbow shot was enough to, to win the map. <laughs> that demo didn't make a good shot. And now that that mini has... Okay, this engineer is overstayed his welcome. He's got to back out. And he does. Okay. Match again, teetering back back and forth this game. Uh, Bolshevik, though, has his, his quick fix 100% ready to go. Oh, losing his demo man, though. I think that was a good play, play by Blast. He knew that they had to stop everything. Like, they had to stop and let their, their uber build up. So he went for the most threatening person. Although if he got the med pick as well, that would have been good. But he did get the the demo, which means that easy demo man spam is going to be hard for them. is going to be a little bit delayed for them. It might even be enough for Smokey. Yeah, he's already at 90. Jaybird looking for that shot. The spy on his tail though. That spy, that spy had a chance. He didn't take it. Soldier right around the corner. Jaybird almost taken out here. Minohawk actually getting taken out, and uh, snipe the NGs on both sides. Pyro's here, but doesn't get the doesn't get enough of a hit there. I think he. He screwed it up a little bit. Force is here though, ready to stop the We're just gonna sit on a pyro cam for a minute. He should be able to get a nope. The soldier gets the clean on instead. Force running the uh, the shotgun instead of the, the flare gun. Probably a good choice for this area right here. It's just a lot of space to maneuver around him. Ooh, backing out. Heavy eaten. More spam. Shouldn't have shouldn't turn that corner, but the core is here. Core is parked, the bus is parked. Spice playing the spy in the background. He really needs to move forward. Um, it's a bit of a waste for them. Jaber down though. Oh, again. Oh, there comes the pot. There comes the quick fix play. And Smokey, did he pop? Yeah, he popped a while back. I missed it. He's now on 80% Uber or so. And yeah, much better pipes. This wow, like really good pipes too. He got like 7k out of pipes or something like absurd like that. So good pipes coming out from our demo man here. And uh, Fury gonna get on the point. Fury's a good point capper for sure. Or Pyros are a good point capper for a second. Oh! Don't poke like that though. Jaybird's just you know, checking them every day. Doing alright for himself. Spunky on the bottom now. He's gonna run and rotate top, I'm sure. Oh, that was a spy. I thought it was Crimson. Here, I thought it was Straw for Nerds. Crimson playing on the top. This is a nice spot for, for scouts to be. Oh, if that spy had stood in the doorway, that would have pissed off Crimson so bad, I'm sure. That's okay though. We got three on the top. It's Pyro in the back. Oh, running into that spy. He does get the spy now. He's got to back out. Good, good pick there. Oh, Uber on the on the back end. And uh, where's Bolshevik? Bolshevist. You didn't, using that quick fix? Not able to get a lot because uh, Uber was right there. Oh, don't. Oh, brick house. Overextending his welcome there. And Spunky taking a little bit of a free pick there. And look at all the damage. He's doing so much deeps right now. He's got to get the backup though. Where's the scout? Scott is there, not able to focus down the heavy. Okay, heavy does go down, so no heavies for. Oh, and then another snipe by Jaybird. Snipe on the NG though, and uh, what's gonna? Oh, finally Jaybird holds it out through the sheer will, through the sheer will of uh, headshots. Oh, that soldier screwed up his jump. He's been a little bit sooner. Okay, capping on the point, not able to get it. And they do coalesce, and they do stabilize again. So very dangerous snipe play there. It came down to a sniper shootout for for a sec. Unfortunately, Jaybird was able to pay those bills. Dwarf. He's doing a good job of waiting for Pyros to blast him, because they're a little bit trigger-happy. Oh, that demo shouldn't have dropped down. Easy pick-off there. 
There's a med above. Gwarf just wanted to jump and yeah, Gwarf just jump. Okay, he's a little late now, but if he had run right into the med before. Oh, runs right into the spot. Blast is like playing defensively, and I don't. Mm, this is just so weird to have a defensive, a defensive spy. Mini, mini sentry gets the pick off there. He shouldn't go back. Minohawk, there's nothing. There's no reason for him to go back in. The threat of a second mini sentry isn't going to be enough. Because yeah, here comes the bomb. I'm gonna try and clean out on the med. Oh, the med bomb forward with the demo and uh, missing his shots a little bit here. Runs right into the heavy. Heavy might be able to make a play happen here. There's a no. There's just too much, too much stuff going down. Although the people that throw themselves in front of the heavy aren't doing too good for themselves. The spy can make a uh, no. It's a low man situation, but now they have a spy in the back. Yeah, the spy can go whenever he wants. The med's gonna want to go forward. The pyro's not here. Okay, the pyro backed out, so... Oh, he gets a heavy. He just took, decides to pick a heavy. Eh, he got, he got greedy. DZ could have, uh, just cloaked again. That was a weird, um, that was a weird, uh... That was a weird Matador step. Got on the front. It's getting close now. Okay, pyro out of position. NG on here. Oh, NG fight. A pyro on the point, and that's, that's a wipe. There you go. So, the Magical Dragons of Dustfall, MDDB, taking it 2-1, making it a game for us here, man. It's a fun game. It is a fun game, yeah. This is a pretty interesting game so far. So, 2-1. You don't see that happen too often. Usually, Granary is either just a complete stalemate or a complete uh, bum rush out. So, how are we doing on... Superbad actually has a little bit better of a rollout here. But he has less health, but he has a medic. And here we go. Bomb ahead. Goes right for the little health. He could have gone all the way to their side, considering how much of an advantage he had there. Spam comes out, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, Crimson makes a pick on the Strawfern. It's immediate. No, Str Crimson went down, and then they find a sniper, so... Pike Warp is going to come down to if he can make a pick here or not. I don't think they are going to be able to, though. Wow, good. And they just take the point immediately, which is going to be really, really good for the reinforcements when they come. Soldier bombs forward. Medip popped his quick fix, and the Soldier playing on the backside. Pyro's there to, to block him out, though. Oh wow, they got so many picks though. It's only Force Alive right now. That was a good fight. That was a good mid fight for them. I don't even know why it was a good mid fight either. Uh, the quick fix, the power of the quick fix play, I guess. Crimson's the only one alive. They need to be pushing right now. Okay, here they go. Don't worry about health packs. Well, the demo might need it, but as long as they have three times on the cart, on the cart, on the point. God, I say cart and point like interchangeably sometimes. Smokey is now off to quick fix, which is a good play, good call. They need the pressure right now. Oh, Pyro's on the point. Oh, Pyro, okay, Pyro gets cleaned out. There have been a good air blast to reflect off those sticks, and the Heavy gets cleaned out too. Scout really trying to get on this point, but there's just too many people. And the rebuff is there, but they lost Smokey. Smokey got picked off by a flare gun shot, so really good from the Pyro here. Uh, Bolshevik sitting at his uber, he's gonna have a super uber advantage, but it's only gonna be quick fix plays. So he's gotta get his Heavy here. He's gotta get his Demo Man here. Where's his Demo Man? Okay, Super Bad is here. Are they ready to go? Neo, uh, playing better for this game, and is it gonna be a 2-2, like, just like that? It was like two minutes remaining. Okay, it's like a two-minute drill. Like, essentially, they should just go right now. It doesn't matter how many people are up, because there's, like, less than 120 seconds left in this game, and nobody's gonna be able to recap that fast. Smokey has no... Oh, he's on crits quit. He has on crits creek. Okay, so the demo man did come forward here. They're playing. They're just taking, uh, spawn plays here. Pyro did a really good job holding things off here, and, uh, is that gonna be enough? Oh, wow, they got a sap. Oh, it's, oh no, they still get it anyway! And they defend out, and that's gonna be... 75 seconds remaining. Minohawk. I didn't even see the, the switch over to level 3, but... Absolutely, it saved them. It forced the Spy to play around. Uh, it forced the Spy to be in a certain position, and if he had been able to take some flanking shots or, uh, or a stab there... It would be an even game right now, uh, before the half. Good pyro shot there. Blast has been doing a pretty good job of getting picks here, for sure. The spy position, you know, if I'm D's, I just drop down. There's 45 seconds to go. Just try and make the pick. The pyro's there, but this is... Oh, wow, he got found. I'm not sure. He must have been doing that all game. So he must have been meta, meta out of that position there. Colonel's above. Oh wow, another another move forward here, but there's not enough time. Just get on the point. There's 20 seconds remaining. Smokey almost have his crit ready to go. Oh, he's so close. 96%. He's like, give me crit screen, give me crit screen. Just pop it, just pop it, just pop it. There's no reason not to. Just pop your crit screen. 
cross. Wow, you're f wow, smoke. You're playing way too fancy. They do get the queen out, and there's the good half. I'm really surprised you just didn't pop his crit screen. That, that's pretty funny. All right, this is the first half. I'm gonna switch up my binds, and uh, I'll see you guys in the second half. All right, here we go. Second half. Oh, did I run the the spectate? Let's see. Yep, we're good to go. And yeah, let's watch the uh, the rollout here. So second half. This is a uh, team pencils versus team magical dragons of dust bowl. Pencils are up uh, on the red team, two to one. Again, brick is actually a little bit slower. Uh, super bad. Throwing. The first salvo definitely worked out in uh, Brick's favor, but he doesn't have as much heal, so it doesn't work out as well. Looks like Red Team's getting a little bit stuck in the corner. They all went corner side. Now the Soldier finally shows up, and they got some good stick play out there. Crimson already down. Um, Stalfrenerd's getting a getting a flank side here. Not getting a. He's just he's just capping. Oh, and there comes the the bomb in from Ktox. Ktox making the aggressive play happen, and that is a that will be the midpoint for sure. If not the second point too, Bolsheviks, uh, Bolshevist on the 100% uh, uber again. We'll see what Smokey switches off to, but I think this is going to be a very fast rotation over, so we'll see. Ktox in position. Doesn't really need to back off, I think they got a little bit too, a little bit too cautious there. Didn't need to back off that sentry too much. Ugh. I think he wanted to jump up above. Now we could just do a jump forward. Uh, oh, they do jump, do a jump forward with the quick fix play. And the medigun here is, is here in the pyro force. Doing a really good job of keeping that medic back, but he's getting overhealed, so pyro flames aren't really good at all. And wow, this is going to be like, there's only a few people up. Whoa, GG, man. Whoa, that was like, good round. A minute and 30 seconds. So 90 seconds is all it took to rush down that round. The defense wasn't there. The defense just wasn't there uh, for the pencils. So it's even game now. Pretty even jump out this time. Oh, Brickhouse goes mid side this time. Uh, probably the right call. And we're going to watch through the sky this time. Pyre on the one side, Scout on the other. And he's looking around. It's a spy in the way, but he doesn't see it. And they're going way wide while a uh, blue team right here is going just down. So. Magical Dragon's gonna get on the point while they're kind of getting circled around, but no, Heavy's right here. He's gonna take a, he's gonna take a Heavy for, oh, a Spy in position. Forces a Crits, Crits are a go. Wow, they get a lot of, they get a good counter push here. Whoa, 5k here for, for, uh, for Brick. And there you go. They finally got their Crits off and uh, paid off for them this time. <laughs> now let's see how fast they can push this down. Crimson coming down, but it's gonna run right into his uh, counterpart here. Now he finds the Engineer instead. Engineer taking time to build a teleporter. Uh, that's how much work it really does for you. <laughs> oh, he finds a spy. He should know the spy is here. The spy actually gets out alive. He's on the point. Everyone here. Uh, scout's on the point. So that's good. Stralfernard's trying to get out the damage. Oh, he gets he gets popped. That sucks. Spy in the back, though. He can make a pick and slow this down. When you make a med pick, it's huge. He gets the med pick. M amazing. So... That's gonna stop everything from going forward here. They should be able to get the second point back. Uh, they do. The, they do. There's a lot of people though. On the other side. On the other side of things. So. That med pick was sick, but I'm just not sure it's enough right now. They're trying to poke on the point, but there's a heavy here on the on the other side. Let's watch the heavy wars. Heavy wars. Heavy wars. Jaybird, that shot's only a scalp though. Oh, the demo must be running the. Uh, the pain train, so he must be double capping. Good to know. If they knew that, uh, they should definitely put a scout on, the, on his butt a little bit harder. And Bolshevist gets taken out somehow. I think it was a snipe play. It must have been. Jo just playing around that, or Jaber just playing around that. Neo also trying to play around it, but not working out nearly as well for him. DZ, can he make another pick here? Can he make the miracle spy pick? He finds an NG. He runs right by him. Runs right into a pyro. That's a dead spy. That's a dead spy. <laughs> And that's an overhealed force. The control point is being contested. So now things are stalemating out. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the light to the to the wall cam. Nobody coming through yet. Scout's gonna run into an engineer. Engineer actually wins out. Surprise. He must have been low health. And then they try and play on the flank side. Looks like the engineer's gonna be able to secure the top, but they're gonna lose the front here. Uh, Uber came through. Bolshevist not even have his Uber yet, and the engineer's not even here. Oh, uh, they could have done more. They're missing a few. They're missing a few key people. Oh, this med is so dead. Oh, he actually survives. Soldier forcing his body down on them, and uh, Bolshevist 
gets out, so that's impressive. Like, I really thought that Mint was dead. He was just so... You don't want to move around the wall there. It's usually not a good call. It usually leads to death. But good jump in by the soldier. Katox, he's playing a way better game than what we saw him do earlier. I, this is pretty impressive. Dwarf, jumping in, jumping out, 20 HP. Getting refueled here by the medic. Straws playing below, by, well, Crimson likes to play above in this situation, so. We'll see who it works out for better. Oh, Spunky gets uh, killed out by Blast here, so. He get, oh, he gets a he gets a, a spawn kill here. Blast is like in the spawn. He's gonna find a pyro. Yep. Two more picks, but Bolshevis has an Uber. Okay, finally found out by the engineer. But he did get two picks here, so if they wanted Uber, Smokey kind of wasting his opportunity here. They could be going because there's no pyro. Uh, both teams have Uber though. Oh, uh, early pop here coming forward, but they don't spot it in time. Oh, sentry gun level three in the way. Those a pipe, not enough. Heavy could have been more aggressive. Pyro tries to control out, but got a little bit greedy there. It turns out to be a two for two. No, but no team really able to push their Uber advantage. But there is a there is a level three in the way. So that's going to be a huge problem. They actually end up picking up most of the core anyway. I think people are just getting a little bit too confident with their sentry gun here. It's not it's not that great of a location. But Mino Hawk. Very defensive sentry gun. Gonna defend out for a while, I'm sure. Uh, they lost their heavy, so we might see a pause any second now. We'll see. Spy getting caught out there. Good sniper pick, for sure. Mio finds the snipes. That could be enough to just go forward here, even though they don't have their heavy. Pause and buy. Okay. So, in five secs, I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna cut up, and uh, we're gonna be right back after that. Okay, we're back. Although I don't see the heavy. Oh no, he's back in. So there we go. Uh, back in the game. Everything's screwed up. We've now got an Uber going down. Uh, the demo misses the first pipe. Ooh, gotta hit those pipes, bro. That soldier should have been dead. Oh, he finds a he finds a brick for his trouble. And uh, it's a seven on eight at the moment. Remember the it's the uh, Uber. oh counter Uber coming through. Colonel's got this. There's no way that's not getting stopped now. And uh, we'll have to wait a sec for everything to come back. However, the timer still does work, so it's 22:30 uh, remaining for the clock. But it's evens, even Stevens right now. They might have to play a golden cap round. They're not familiar with golden cap round. Whoever uh, caps first um, just wins. It's just game over at that point. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like an overtime. Round. Oh my goodness, he's on the back! Wow, I don't even know how that happened. So scout Crimson sneaks in, makes it a, a 3-2 game. So pencils now up. And they had played reasonably well. Um, just taking the advantage, it just took them a lot longer. But that generally means you're a stronger team. If you can win out in long games, uh, it just means you're a more consistent team. You're, you're winning out more fights overall. Whereas, uh, so definitely the Magical Dragons just took a really fast game. And that was really, really good of them. Um, you don't see that happen very often, but it doesn't bode well for them in the long term. And there's still like 21 minutes of game left, so. Straws finds a demo, but Mio takes out the heavy, which means that a lot of their advantage is gone. And Snipes again, they're just looking around, and I'm totally zoomed in. Heavies are down for both teams, actually. Double kill coming out uh, for the spy. So, assassination classes on both sides. Engineer getting a little bit overzealous here, so. Five on six. Oh, they find Vulturus as well, so Snipes, man. Assassin classes are going huge right now. Huge. Pyro's here, though, to defend the, the integrity of the point. This demo's a little bit overextended. Scout could get him. Wow, no. Super bad holds out, and that was a crazy fight. But goes out on red side. I, I really couldn't tell you why anyone won that fight for real. Sniper going forward though. Jaybird, what are you looking for? This is a really aggressive play by Jaybird because he could easily get picked here by a scout, by a soldier, even an engineer. Nobody's coming for him though. They're going to play defensively. Time has been added. Fury Bringer, what are you going to do, bro? We're down to Crits Creek again, so Bolshevist now the one running the Crits Creek. However, it's an Uber gun coming out here for Smokey. This isn't gonna work, uh, generally. Bolshevist isn't ready yet. Mio's in position to snipe. Somebody's there. Oh, it's the tank. So it's down. Gwarf getting picked out here, so Gwarf and Mino Hawk not losing the flank battle, so no flank going their way. In fact, Strawfurner is gonna be able to come around here. Finds a oh wow Mio is uh, rotated oh double kill too snipes heavy and five on eight 
Sorry, four and eight. Oh, Spy gets the, wow, these disaster classes. Doing, doing, doing good work. And even though they don't have Uber advantage, or they're not, they're not even running the right kind of Uber advantage, uh, they're gonna be able to push out here. So again, Sniper Spy doing the work for them. Mio, he knows he's there, he knows he's there. Oh, misses the shot. He saw the medic back in the corner, he knew he was there. He also saw the, the medic being enforced. Oh my goodness. The ah! <laughs> Sneezing crit creeps coming out here. And Spanky, or Spunky, doesn't actually get too much with it, but they do they did lose the medic. Enough pressure was down. Pyro forces them back and they do get they do get the counter cap here. So MDDB coming back in this game, showing life. Three to two. Uh, even though they they didn't have the Uber advantage, for sure they uh, they hold out and they take back. So back in the mid game, 19 minutes remain. They have got to make another point here. They're the one on the uh, blue team under the gun here. So good spam through the window. Nobody there to receive it, unfortunately. Crimson, if you can make a, I think he's looking for a spy. He's not there anymore. If you can just call some harassment back here. Maybe do a counter cap. He knows where they're coming now, so. Definitely good scouting going forward. Straw for nerds spots everyone as well. Everyone will be in pre preparation because the scouts are there. De DZ is down, but uh, Blast not in position either, so. Oh, Critch Creek comes forward. Huge Critch Creek gets a Gwarf as well. They go the wrong way though. Are they looking? Oh, that was so close. These long range Critch Creek shots were just so close to, to connecting, but that is, that's just really unfortunate. Kind of a whiff there going forward. Colonel running the, that grew there, and Bolsavis gets cleaned out by a Crimson, who gets out alive. That 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 crit streak had so much potential, so much potential, and none of it worked. Come on, demo, pay attention, use your eyes. Gets cleaned out anyway. Smokey forced out here by the soldiers. So. K Tox student. Oh man, everyone's scattered right now. This is like. Just a just a weird fight going on. So they force an Uber, but oh, soldiers right here. Nice, nice hiding. Atox taking a free med pick there. They need that free med pick too. Like after that, Kritzkrieg just didn't work out for them last time, and uh, looks like they're gonna stick on Kritzkrieg for a while. I wouldn't say it's bad. Um, second point can often is just really choky. If you know where they're coming from, you can catch them off guard with it. It's just so good. You can take like a 3k, 4k like immediately. Which is a nice, which is a nice momentum change to have for sure. Pyro on the backside here finds a soldier. Quarf not able to return the medic favor. Bolshevik, so yeah, like a good advantage here, like 70%. And Smokey on normal metagun, so they need to go. They need to get in position like right now, like force him down. Smokey not, they gotta go. Where's Spies in position? They should know where everyone is. DZ shouldn't go for a pick here. I think they just need to for Oh, crits comes through. Here it comes. Demo in position. Gets a force, but that's it. Bolshevik instead gets picked off by some pipes. Good pipe, good pipe trade here, like really. Super bad, not making not making the picks he needs so far. Brick Shithouse instead doing a lot more. Jaybird finds a finds a demo for his trouble. Sniper fight. It's interrupted by a demo man. Oh, there's a spy now as well. All these assassin classes coming late. Halfway through the second half here, so CIA successfully rough and tumbling after uh, after that uh, really poor second half start for them. And you know, it's just it'll be just up to Team Pencils uh, just to hold out. Crimson's right on this med. The med pick would be nice and big for them right now. Well, nope, not able to get it though. They have an Uber advantage though. Seven on nine. Ooh, me forced out by the forced out by the soldier. Good force too. This is gonna do some work, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Six on six on eight. No snow. The straw is still alive, so just no scout for red team. Guarf down two. And Mio has a good angle here. Has to back out though. Oh, good, good, good NG spot. Really not. Oh wow, good shot by Mio. Good shot. Because that's not, that that NG is gonna be the biggest problem for them right now. Another crit creek coming through. They get a Jaybird. Who's behind? Bolshevik trying to go. Oh, he runs right into everybody. Not able to, he needed his pyro there to do a bit more control. And instead they lose out. Spunky going forward here and I don't think they're gonna lose this point. It's just, you know, I just need to be sitting in mid because it's just a, a huge, like, it's been like an attrition fight back to the midpoint, but I think that's it. No meds have uber advantage. 
You know, actually, it's 540 remaining. Someone's got to capture a point in 540, which could, like, theoretically not happen. And NG trade to the demo, so that's really, really good for them. They've even got a forward sentry gun here, too. A little mini. Does a bit of damage, not enough, though. Blue team, like, regrouping right now. MDDB. MDDB. It's a spy right on the corner here. Oh, they hurt him. Good good ears. Good ears, Spunky. And again, huge pick. They're just not... Not enough pressure. Uh, they're just not, like... Both meds have been dying a lot. Hit a lot. Oh, well, kind of, kind of a lot. I would say a little bit more than average. Blast now just getting up. Colonel forward here, but he's got no real support. Well, J the Jaybird support seems to be enough for him. And they clean up the flank side. Soldier's here, but he's going to get forced. Ooh, the sniper as well. They take that shot. They have, they have an Uber ready to go. And yeah, they're gonna go down mid. Scout out of position, sniper out of position. That really means they're gonna be playing. It's like 5v9. Five, five, five Sniper's not here. Oh, wow, force the pop. They are scared. Oh, good shot by Jaybird again. Jaybird making the headshots, turning the momentum around. Heavy in position. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't stay above. You don't really get anything extra for an eight times on the cap. It's really just four times. Four times is not the cutoff, but everything else has significant diminishing returns, so. Looking for that pyro shot, and I'm not able to find it. Oh, good shot. Stops the quick fix right in his tracks. Now what do they do? Try and control a little bit, but super bad. Getting controlled out a little bit. Ktox gets taken out, and seven on seven on eight. They tried to go through the corner, but didn't quite work out for them. The good news is that they're ahead in Uber, but I think it's going to be a quick fix around the same time as Uber. They will have an Uber though if nothing happens. Oh, getting dropped on. Mino Hawk out of the game. Oh, they should know he's above. Guar, really good position to stop that. Oh, and a force pop. These meds are scared. No bed wants to pop early. Oh, Bolshevik. He hits a med he hits a spy and uh, gets off his quick fix. So, wasted charges for everybody. And just a lot of fighting everywhere. In fact, let's just go back. Let's just go back to the top cam. It's just too hard to watch everyone all the time. It's five on seven, which means that Blue's gonna try and take a little bit of advantage of here, but nope. Get sniped. Jaybird just spent all over Spunky, just not letting him get off any kind of quick fix play. That is the problem with the quick fix. You can still get headshot to death, like no problem. Playing corner side, and they should be switching back over to main any sec now. No, they're gonna sit corner side for a little while. Angie could get the flank kill here. Got the mini down. No, there's too many people on the other side. He's gonna get wrapped around on. Yeah, demo comes back around. It's a uh, NG's pretty dead. A more dead NG I never had seen. He gets wow. So it's a two for one. But it is the demo. Uh, they feel like it's enough to push on. Okay. Oh, an Uber comes forward, and then they pop a quick fix. Let's see if we can get a pick out here. Healing up that heavy, but it's it's just the heavy and met. Oh, Pyro comes around from the flank. Is it going to be enough? He gets the scout. That is a dead med. That is a dead med. Oh, who's capping on the backside? Oh my goodness, a back cap going down. Is it going to be enough? Two on two. No, no, you get on. You, oh. oh, no, they're done. They're totally done. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Got to go this way. Oh, wow, everyone's wiped. So, back cap is going down. Two people in the back. There are sticks on the point. Force the pop. Oh, Crips, get on the point, Pyro! That Pyro needed to get on the point. That was a good try. That was a good try, but good job. Just three sticks, three or four sticks, that's all you need. Crimson tried desperately to get on that point, but not able to make it work. And everything's reset, but in Red's favor here, so. Pencils should be able to reset this up. Oh, spy on the point. He wants it. He wants it so bad. Not able to get it. So let's see. Uh, MDDB getting set up for defense. They got a they got a sentry on the pipe. Well, they're going aggressive actually. Demo on the front here. They don't have their Uber. Uh, this is a, this is a blind push. Instead, Red has their Uber, and Demo comes forward. Oh, this Med's getting out. This heavy looks pretty dead though. Trying to get through the corner. Nope, not able to. Bolshevik though. Oh, 98%. He has no one to heal. Willie. Oh, he gets. You know, he dies to a stick. Scout trying to get the Med. 
Oh, and they get the quick fix play. Oh, is it gonna be enough? Pyro on the point. Pyro just needs to spray everywhere. Spray everywhere, Pyro. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's just the soldier. Is there anyone here? Just shoot the sentry. Oh my goodness. Pyro could have, if he had just been spraying fire a little bit more there, I think the deeps would have been there to stop it. But the sentry paying off for itself in spades. They have the control of the point, but they're just not able to put a body on it at the moment. Oh, good angling by the pyro there. It's not going to be enough though. Wow, good play by Fury. Really good play by Fury not to die. He's got to stay alive because they got to like push a pyro, a spy off the point. Snipes is in position. Jaybird, make him looking for that shot. That was a, a good desperation play for sure by the MDDB. But, uh, no, sorry, by, by Pencils. But it just wasn't there. And also, if they can make another pick here, being two up with nine minutes remaining, this is like, this is the brink of the game right here. Unless, again, they get like, uh, MDDB gets like two amazing pushes in a row, uh, like they did earlier this round, then they'd be all right. But if they can cap right here, they can definitely play defensively, you know. Maybe not even go for, for a good mid push, just like try and build up a, def like a defensive, uh, conservative uh, holdout push. So now we got a quick fix going forward. Pyro is here. Oh, nice, nice stab. Oh, Pyro gets a play too, and yeah, nice. This is a wow, really good cleanup there. It's the only three people alive. Where's the sentry? This is the mini soldier bombing forward. He's got to hit that sentry gun. Oh, they throw a crit creek out. Oh, crit creek out. But Pyro here as well. Medic on the point. Oh, they that med should just backed off. Let the crits go down. But I think it's enough. Yes. Scout and demo make it enough. Uh, getting, getting the pick off there. GGs and GRs are coming out, but really. I don't think it's uh it's quite over yet, but it is four two in CIA's favor. So, if CIA makes one more one more point here, they they win out. So Team Pencils on the brisk of winning, and also just got to hold off for eight minutes here. They're GGing already, but you know it is possible. It's not. It's just hard. It's just very very hard. Blues here first. Oh, are they playing defensive? I don't think they're doing anything. Where's 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 the red where's the red thing? Super late to the party. They're just gonna play from the from the main door. Jaybird makes a pick on the furry bird, and uh, it's six on seven. Heavy fight going. NG on the flank. Not able to find anything of use. That spy almost gets the pick. Really needed it though. Oh, they're getting wrapped around. They're getting wrapped on right now. Heavy's here though. Heavy defends out. This med is out in the open. Got to run away. The spy's right here though. The spy should just be hitting. Oh my goodness, this med. This med should have been dead like ten times over already. Uh, no, and the heavy too, so. Horde defending out. Oh, forces an Uber. Is the Uber going to be enough to capture mid? Are they getting back capped? No, they're not getting back capped or anything, so. Find the point. Oh, gets the heavy. And that's going to be the opening that uh, the, soldier, the soldier needs. So they do finally get that medic. It's a little bit too late, though. They are still getting contested, and seven minutes remaining. So, one minute just to capture that midpoint. They get seven more of those minutes to go. And Guarf, like, really just content to spam at them. Force them to deal with him. He's content to trade health for seconds at this point, which is uh, a good sign for them, for sure. Spy in the back! Blast, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get hit by a demo. That sucks. Oh well. Way out of position now. Oh, gets a. Uh, wins the sniper battle again. Both of us is down too, and Guarf coming forward. No, he found he finds a, a scout. He's gonna he's gonna bomb forward here. The spy's in position as well. Gets a heavy, and that means Guarf can go forward. Oh, air pipe, but not enough. That was such a cool air pipe too, oh, man. I hate it when like good plays like don't pay off. It's like the worst feeling in the world. Only three up right now. Waiting for someone to heal. Smokey at about a 60% advantage. Um, that could be a recap right here, back to mid. And six minutes remaining, so. Another minute wasted here. Of course, finding an engineer. Oh my goodness, he didn't get the engineer. That sucks. That should have been a dead NG for sure. Who's above them? Is that a soldier? Clank Crankston coming forward. Clates, Clates, whatever his name is, Katox. Rick going forward? Not. Oh, finds a med. They should know he's here. There's no Uber. I think Brick is out of bullets, that sucks. So Spunky gonna be able to defend the integrity of their point here. Uh, Spooky goes down. Just not a very good Uber. Um, yeah, just not a very good Uber at all. However, it did buy them time. 
again with the oh force that an uber here you know, this is not this is just not how they want to spend ubers at this point they want to push all the way down in gets the heavy heavy should have been out of there spy spy what are you doing spy that's just very strange i think he's got this net though yeah <laughs> yeah that med got dealing trim as heavy as heavy disappeared and then oh, what are you gonna do then what do you do? What do you do when you just get completely surrounded like that? Nothing, as a, if your name is Med, nothing. That was a cool air shot. Uh, 3 out of 10, 2 out of, two out of 5 stars. Like, right, comment, subscribe. And yeah, this game is like, this game is pretty over, guys, I gotta admit. It could happen, but everything has to go in their favor, like right now. So let's just have some fun with camera angles. Oh, there's a spy in the back. Let's see if we can do anything. Pyro looking. I know you're here. DZ backs out. <laughs> Ambi shots for days. Jaybird again winning the snipe battle. Oh, finds Bolshevist. He rotated into him. That that's rough. That makes it like the easiest sniper shot in the world when the medic like moves like towards you while you're ready to shoot. And a crit goes off. Wow, everyone's like really lit, but no one's dying. Uh, they find a they find brick. That man force should have done something there. Okay, and now spawning gets the clean out. <laughs> yeah, look everywhere. Three and a half minutes remaining. Um. Oh, who's capping in the back? Is that a heavy? Is that a spy? No. Who is that? Oh, it's an NG. NG playing the back side. I don't think it's gonna be enough. He's playing the front side. The heavy, heavy with a scout. Yeah. So now that they just lost an engineer to the front. He has to back out of here. Um, will it be enough to go forward? No, they've, they're all set up here, so. Pencils in position, ready to go. I really like this soldier up here in the top. Ooh, he's hiding. Let's see if he finds anyone. You know, he's not going to find anyone. No one's going to come for him yet. Scout. Ooh, don't want to look through that door again. Again, Jaybird. This is absurd. He gets, like, all these medic picks. Just really good sniping. You can tell he's just so comfortable. So comfortable in this map. DZ. Looking for that shot. Super bad not able to get it. Someone's playing on the flank side. Super bad happy to pack out and uh, play from the flank. Not what they only want to be doing. Two and a half minutes remaining. <laughs> some uh, some Dota spam for some reason. Spy. Oh, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here. Hmm. Yes, you must be mistaken. Okay, are we gonna see a bomb in? Cause they have to bomb in at this point. There's two minutes remaining. It's got on the flank side. If you don't remember, this is now an open area for them. Not able to get anything. Just uh, totally complete cleaned out here. We're running sent minis as well, but I think they could just run like level three. So it's just like ensure they never get this point, and then game over. Two minutes remaining. They're gonna try and stage back out here. Really defensive. Oh, here comes a Kutzkrieg. They get a demo. Demo forces them for time. That's really about it. Oh, they got a heavy as well. The meds alive. Could play on the soldier here. The soldier really trying to force him out. Oh, nice clean out by Crimson here. Gets a double kill. Going for the coming. Then the other shoe drop. Nope. Oh, drops down. Jaybird again with a headshot. Just so headshots for days, man. Spies in position and the G's are called. Like I don't think it's possible at this point. Four points in 80 seconds. I don't think it's really possible. So, looks like Pencil's going to take this game 4-2 or maybe possibly 4-3, but in all likelihood 4-2 here. So, we're just going to watch uh, some Pyro play. Force defending from the Spy. You can try, but Force is here. Oh, they're actually... Oh, that's easy. So, they are going to get it, actually. So, it's going to be a 4-3. But... <laughs> that's pretty funny. Super bad's gotta have like the most incredible like triple jump roll out here. Like get on the first point, go from there. Good aggressive jump out, like way faster. This is why you jump, by the way, because if you don't jump, this happens, and you can't get out this door. You can't get out. You're one of two entrance ways into the point. Technically three, but the top one is not where you want to be. 
And looks like they're going for it. Uh, 13 seconds remaining, but no, no hope in the world. Quick fix play. Oh, it gets the crit screen. And that's what happens, man. Nice, nice clean out. Wiped out, and there's the G's. GG's. So, good game by Pencils. Four, four to three. Uh, close game there. And, uh, yeah, good job. Hope to see them for the rest of the season. I, I'd like to see them. They've been dirtling in, in steel for a while. I'd like to see them move up to, to silver for sure. I mean, it looks like they got the skills to do it, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm Turbo Cop. I'll see you guys in the next game.